One fight night? One fight, fight night 15. 15. Awesome, man. Yeah, uh, so another one event. Uh, and back to I back fight the main nights. event. It was, huh? That's right. Yeah. We just had a uh, raw tank. And, we just uh, had a... Uh, no, we just had... Uh, oh, no, no, no. It was... Uh, Stamp versus Ham. Fairtex, that's right. That's right. Um, but, yeah, so we have... Uh, let me see. It was Lee versus Framanov. Lee versus Yeah, Framanoff. dude. Tan Lee, man. UFC fucked up not signing him, dude. Super fucked up. Um, you know, he, he. I think he fought on the Contender Series, was it? They didn't give him a contract. Now they hand him out like crazy. Uh, he's clearly, <laughs> you know, he was the champ for... For, he was the champ for, at one for a while. Uh, he fought Gary Tonin, right? Gary Tonin went for that leg lock, and he just blasted him, knocked him out, uh, going for the leg lock. Um, he's been a good champ for um, for one. Then he loses his belt to Tenkai. Um, and then Framanov was supposed to be fighting uh, Tenkai in this one for the belt. Um, and then Tenkai uh, missed weight. I think that's what it was. I think it was Framanov who was supposed to fight him. It could have been Tan Lee for a rematch. I don't remember now. But... Tenkai got injured. They booked this fight, Tan Lee versus Framanov for the interim belt. Um, and it's such a good matchup, dude. Framanov's such a killer. Tan Lee's so fun to watch. Tan Can Lee I just now... say, I love when they do the face-offs on the rooftop oh, I know, here dude. with that background. Yeah. It's so sick. Yes, it, it's, it, it is cool, dude. Up in the with the skyline. Uh, yeah, shout out Cyrus. It's amazing. He's up there. Uh, what? But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, dude, so... So it, it's been a cool run. Uh, Framanov's a savage, right? He like joined the military when he was like twelve or something like that, twelve or fourteen, and then <laughs> he's just a killer, dude. Uh, and Tan Lee has just been growing his arsenal. Uh, Taekwondo guy originally, right? And now he's training with Ryan Hall. Uh, defended the leg lock against uh, Gary Tonin, who's like a master at it, right? Um, and then this fight, they're they're swinging at each other a couple times, and you're like, okay, we're heating up a little bit. And then Framanov shoots on him. Uh, Tan Lee Victor rolls for the leg and immediately starts attacking heel hooks. And you're like, this is sick. He gets to that 50 50 50 position. Framanov defends the first time, uh, but he's not out. Out Tan Lee recovers, uh, gets the heel hook, and then that's a wrap. And he, he was in pain, dude. Those submissions, man, they look so gnarly when they like screaming while they tap. <laughs> so yeah. gnarly. Yeah, yeah, but it was a beautiful transition, man. The way that he just flowed into that. And uh, I think yeah. Wonderbuff says it best. Lee grabbing the leg like a starving dog with a bone. Yeah, dude. Getting it. Held you know? on for dear life. Because there's a few times you're like, okay, I think Freeman, I was going to be able to pull the leg out here. And mm -hmm. just the way that he would like had that death grip around the ankle just to make sure that yeah. he wouldn't be able to take it out. And he tucks it in. You know, I was like, oh, man, that's solid. Uh, yeah, but it, it was a solid night from, uh, from Lee. I, I don't know about the post-fight interview. I was like, meh. You know, but uh, other than I that, did, dude, I, I I do dig the uh, you know the snow angels and the gold confetti. That's fucking sick. I'm down with That's that. So sick. I'm down um, with that. I did like his Mr. Chow impression. Yeah, uh, when he was behind the belt, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that. Uh, yeah, but dude, it was a impressive performance, dude. Yeah, and it's cool. You know, you go, you walk out there with Ryan Hall, and then you get a heel hook. That's got to feel good, man. It's got to oh, feel yeah. real good. For Ryan no. Hall, too. Yeah. Well, Ryan Hall looks unfazed by everything. He's just there just like... That was his excited face. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That was his excited face. Dude, the confetti is so confetti. sick. They went he hard with it, too. He trying to go. Um, real quick, uh, let's see. Um, we, uh, I just like the uh, the attacks. The, the victor roll was so clean. Um, I'm going to show this really quick, Rich. Do you have a clip? Got a clip. Oh, look at he that. rolls for it. Framanov did a good job, right? He escapes. Yeah. And you're like, okay. He's, he's pretty safe. Okay. And then Tan Lee just kept going for it. Then right here. Where is it? Right. There. That's where yeah. like I was like, okay, he's yeah. gonna get his leg out. You know, and he grabs on and that was to it. the ankle. Grabs Damn. onto the ankle. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome job there by uh Lee. Um, all right. Anything else on that main event? Uh, no, so now they'll do the rematch, right? Tan Lee versus Tank Kai. I like that they did the face off, but they were super respectful during it. Um, and just like they were like stoked to see each other and like, all right, it was gonna be good. Uh, because the first fight was good, dude. And uh, yeah, it's a fun fight. Tank Kai versus Tan Lee. Oh, Blunderbuff says, Man is 38. It's the power of one, you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
We had a uh, D Bella versus Williams before that. Yeah, D Bella, right? Uh, former boxer. Uh, now he's kickboxing. Daniel Williams is like the go-to. Like, hey, uh, we need someone to fight these savages. And Daniel Williams is like, I'm down. Always. Uh, I mean, these guys now f- face Rod Tank, Super Leg, Debella. Like, he just, he's getting in there, man. <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and you know, to his credit, a lot of people were like, why is why is he in there fighting for the kickboxing championship? Uh, Debella's going to outclass him, all this stuff. And, you know, Daniel Williams, he's tough as nails. He was getting lit up by that hook, that lead hook uh, from Debella. Yeah. But, man. He was in there, man. He's a savage. I'm a big fan of Daniel Williams. And, uh, you know, the leg kicks he was landing, he landed a couple punches of his own up there. Um, but this was the walkout I want to tell you about. You missed, you didn't watch the walkout. He's walking out to like Italian, like Godfather music. And he's just wearing Ooh. this shirt as he just walks out slow. And there were some people hating on it. I thought it was fucking awesome. Giovanni. Giovanni yeah. Di Bella. So dude, that's sick. sick. Dude. You don't yeah, have a clip of it? Uh, we do, uh, but we can't don't. play with audio. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. No worries. And the music. But, uh, dude, I, the thing that I loved about the first couple rounds is that not one wanted to let the other one get one up, right? So, like, one yeah. of them would land something, another one responded immediately, even if they mm-hmm. left themselves open, but they wanted to show the other one, like, hey, dude, like, you're going to catch yeah. me with something, but I'm going to get you right back, right away. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it, De, De Bella, when was he dropped? He was dropped once, right? Uh, I think it was more of a trip, right? Did they call it a knockdown? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember, but I know Williams was dropped. So, I mean, they're both hurting each other. But uh, in the fifth round, Ooh, DiBella really starts focusing a lot more on the thigh and with shots to the body. And I think that's yeah. where it was really like, okay, there, there's a pretty big difference here in, in skill level well, when it comes to Well, you can see, like, the, the way he, like, whips his punches is just different than Williams does, you know? Like, the lead hook that he lands, uh, it's just – is a classic Look boxer's at these guys punch. Backs, man. I know, dude. Just this is insane. Shredded. But dude, look at no also shot in this picture. Yeah, look <laughs> in this picture. Look at Debella's the back of his uh, thigh. That mark there is from the outside leg kick from the other side, wrapping around and hitting his yeah. leg. Um, there was a point where he, I mean, he just kept walking forward. He was like refusing to check the leg kicks from Williams, and there was a time where, uh, where. It, he was throwing at him, and Williams just stood there and was just like trying to chop a tree down. He threw like four kicks in a row to that leg, and it was all blue and battered. Like, for there was like ten inches uh, below and above his knee that was just like massacred. Uh, and then in the post fight, uh, Mitch was like, "How do you feel? How's your leg?" And he's like, "Oh, my dad kicks me all the time." Oh yeah, <laughs> I <was> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's that's interesting." Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it was a fun fight, man. I, you know, I yeah. still have to say, because this was the kickboxing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still take Muay, Muay Thai with the small gloves. It's not Muay Thai. Still take Muay Thai with the small gloves, dude. Hard to beat. Hard to beat after you've watched some bangers. And yeah, Muay Thai with the small gloves, It's like, dude. ugh. I mean, maybe, you, maybe, let's just focus on that, you know? Yeah. They're but, doing uh, the damn. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me see. What is the next fight we're going to cover? Ah, Natawat versus Tawan Chai. Yeah, Smoke and Joe versus Talon Chai. Uh, Blunderbub says, Debella is a scary man. Uh, looked totally unbothered. Yeah, the leg never phased him, and it looked disgusting. Um, but yeah, Talon Chai uh, versus Smoke and Joe. Dude, I, w- I wanted a Smoke and Joe upset so bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big Talon Chai fan. This was originally supposed to be the main event. It was supposed to be Talon Chai versus Superbon. Superbon tore his calf. Everybody said he ducks. He, he ducked him. So he posted the uh, MRI, and it looks like someone took a knife and went down the middle of his calf. It is so oh, gnarly. I don't know. How, I honestly don't know. I don't know. How, I'll, I'll try to find a picture. Or Rich, maybe if you could look up like uh, Super Bond uh, calf muscle um, and see X-ray. if you can find that MRI. MRI. Um, yeah, but I honestly don't know like how he's gonna look when he comes back because it is bad, dude. Um, uh, but yeah, this fight. Smoke and Joe, everyone's like on two day on two weeks notice, whatever it was, week and a half, two weeks. Uh, this is a tall order, huh? Tawan Chai is just finishing everybody like by like literally breaking their bones, you know. Uh, he's got that femur that he cracked with the leg kick, uh, and then he broke uh, who's his last fight where he broke his arm um, with the high kick. He blocked the high kick and it shattered his his elbow. Oh jeez, you don't remember that? No, uh, dude, I can barely remember what I did yesterday. Kyria. To beat Kyria, yeah, and then he broke uh, Yusupov's uh, uh, leg with the. So that's him getting the MRI. Oh yeah, dude, look at this. 
Oh, look at that tear in his calf. I mean, <laughs> the mouse. <laughs> that I is so gnarly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic work for Bridge there. <laughs> yeah, but Smoke and Joe comes in, dude, uh, and he put it to him. That's that's the toughest uh, test for a while now that that Tawan Chai's had. Um, some people are saying it was robbery. I I think Tawan Chai probably still won it. Um, but Smoke and Joe had him out on the back foot there in that second round. He landed some big shots. Um, Smoke and Joe's uh, straight right was landing quite a bit. And it was mainly when uh, Tawan Chai would come in with those combos because he has those quick combos up top. Dude, I yeah. love Tawan Chai's boxing, dude. Money. Really and I know cool. that he has those solid kicks. But, dude, uh, Smoke and Joe landed some heavy leg kicks. And that straight right, mm-hmm. even though he was coming in, pat, 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 pat from the That's other side. Just back. Like, yep. Think straight back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it, dude, again, another fun, uh, fun fight to watch. Tawan yeah, Chai, uh, I feel like I've watched him now, like probably like three or four times since I've started probably. watching one. How active yeah. is this guy? Why is he? Does he fight? They're every all so weekend? active. They're all so active. Um, the, the, I, I would have liked to see this one also in uh, as a Muay Thai fight in four ounce gloves rather than kickboxing. Um, yes. But man, uh, Smoking Joe. A lot of people didn't give him like any chance in this one. The fact that he took a round from him and on some people's scorecards won the fight, I thought it was fucking awesome, dude. This is a fun fight, dude. Especially in Lumpini, the crowd's going crazy and stuff. Anytime the round ended and Tawan Chai would walk back to his corner and like put a hand up, the crowd just like goes crazy. Erupts. Yeah. Yeah. Tawan Chai's a superstar, dude. Really? Like, is that he's that big dude, over there? Yeah. Like to the point where I saw someone who was there who was talking about who was there was like Dude, after the Tawan Chai fight, like a lot of people left. <laughs> There's still two title fights after. It. Oh dang, man! He's Straight massive, up, man. dude. He's massive. That's badass. That's yeah. badass. Uh, does he speak English? Uh, decently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Super well, Bon actually is is uh is one of the better uh, English speakers um from like the Muay Thai guys, but yeah, it's cool to see Tawan Chai kickboxing. You know, trying to do both. There it so is. So good. Smoke All right. Before that, we had your uh, your boy Musumeci versus Aoki versus my other boy, the legend Shinya Aoki. Yeah. Dude. Go ahead. No, dude, I was just gonna say, uh, Mikey is quickly becoming one of my favorite <laughs> fighters to watch. Yeah. Dude. And I never thought I would say that about somebody that's just in uh, just doing submission jiu-jitsu. fighting. You know, just doing jujitsu, and I like. But he's a he's a very interesting guy. Mm-hmm. You see him with his glasses and his posture that's <laughs> kind of you know goofy, and uh, he just he looks like a really nice, respectful kid. And then yeah. um, you know he's always looking to start off his back. He's so dangerous off his back. You know he kind of like just lifts his leg up uh, to uh, Shinya Yoki just mm-hmm. a couple times just like telling him like dude take the bait man take the bait you know and yeah. you know, he's like okay and like he grabs his leg and barely pulls it musumeci is flat on his back at that point just like <laughs> grabbing onto anything he can grab onto and i was like oh no this well, is not good for aoki well he did a good job um so like mikey works in the k guard a lot right where you get the you get the knee shield up the high knee shield um and you almost you need to like you need to turn on your side and hook their far side leg, whatever's closest to your head, right? Because you're turning your side, you get the high knee shield. Um, but Aoki was like framing on him and blocking him from being able to to uh, shoot his arm under his leg to, to hook it, get that underhook. Um, and then you see like the, just the little things like Mikey gets up on his on his elbow, the, the arm that he wants to shoot under, he gets up on that elbow to lift up. Aoki's framing on his chest. So now when he sits up, the arm comes down a little bit. It slips off his chest, and then he shoots the arm, and he gets that. Yeah. Um, I mean, just really cool stuff uh, from from Musumeci to get Aoki with an Aoki lock. You know, the heel hook. Like that's Aoki's bread and butter, dude. That's what he made a career out of. You know, uh, with the rainbow spats back in the day. Um, it, it was cool, and you know, to see the mutual respect between the guys. Um, but yeah, my, Mikey, just little things like you know, getting to the. Um, forgot what it's called uh th- so this this uh where he gets the submission here normally you go for a heel hook right um and you want your your foot on the ground 
with your shin kind of like in their crotch, right? In between their legs uh, so that they can't sit up. That's how you control them. Um, and then the outside leg controls the hips a little bit, pushes the hips back. Um, now he, he gets this like, um, you see the inside leg uh, gets like the butterfly from the outside. You see that? Uh, his left yeah. leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and his right leg's not inside. It's not it's not inside his uh, his like on his crotch. Um, yeah, just cool shit, dude. Really, cool yeah. And shit. I, I I love the way that he's just so surgical, you know. And it's just mm-hmm. focuses on one thing before he moves on to another. And that's, you know, it, it's one of the toughest things to do in jujitsu because while you're going through and you're trying to secure something, the other person, of course, is trying to defend it. But he stays just so laser focused on just making sure that he accomplishes that very next step before he yeah. moves on to the next thing he doesn't give up on it super early <clears throat> and um i love how he went like stomach down on the leg and mm-hmm. he like just to make sure that he had a solid grip on on aoki's leg right yeah and he uses his back legs to pull and extend his legs at the exact same time to mm-hmm. make sure that he strained that leg out because aoki kind of had it tucked in a little bit yeah and then he the way that he rolled onto his back from there and when he rolled, like he already rolled with the ankle kind of tucked into his pit, yeah. his armpit. And I was like, dude, like just move by move. Like I, I again, yeah. I never thought I'd be saying this. And I'm like talking <laughs> about Musa Mechi's grappling. You no, know, but I went back and I watched this. I rewinded it again like three or four times just on his setup because it was so beautiful, man. Dude, it was sick. Yeah, the way he ended up getting getting two K guard to attack the heel hook. And then you see that like outside butterfly. Um, and it's cool because there's no uh you can't really like if you're defending you can't you can't grab his feet you know to like try to pull his legs off and and then you can sit up things like that like um you know like it's just such a cool entry to to that submission because you're you're you got that butterfly hook your your leg is is hooked there you can't grab like it's defending you can't grab it pull it to the side get out whatever um yeah it's really cool monster tony says bro is banking uh with these 50k bonuses for grappling and that's the other thing that's so cool dude there's not a lot of money you know in, in competitive jiu-jitsu um genevieve says i really hope he doesn't move to mma i don't think i can handle watching mikey's sweet face get punched i don't want to see it either yes i don't want to see it either i don't want i'd be heartbroken he, just, he keeps getting these bonuses dude like why would you man we don't need it yeah. i know he like like blender was talking about that he's training muay thai and stuff uh the videos are i mean he, Great, grow your skill set and stuff, but like, I yeah, please, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. He seems like a nice guy. And then the post fight interview, one of the best post fight interviews that I've heard in a while, man. Like, he just yeah. talks about the fact that he was really sick. He was in the hospital. He's like, man, I didn't think I was gonna make it. I was ready to call, but then I was like, no, he I'm gonna fight. Yeah, I, 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 I told him I was gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. You know, and what did he say? I wrote down here. Let me see. Push back the feelings and push through it. That's when you get better. Yeah. Right, and that just <sighs> in so many things in life, not just mm-hmm. in fighting. But, you know, you, you get nervous, you know, uh, you think you can't, you know, do a presentation. You can't do this. You can't do that. And you're like, dude, just let me push through these feelings. I'm going to get through this. And on the other side, you're going to come out better for it. Right. Yeah. And, but just the way that he said it, man, was so awesome. Uh, the way that he gave uh, Aoki all the respect in the world. Yeah. Uh, afterwards, that was cool. You know? I mean, he's a lot. Oh, man. And then uh, he said, I hope I made jujitsu exciting for you and that you don't make it your bathroom break. <laughs> oh, man. Killing when he me. said that, I was like, dude, <laughs> I love this guy, man. I yeah, freaking same. love Mikey Musumeci, dude. I'm a huge fan. Again, never thought I'd be saying that, uh, especially when it's mixed in with – think about it. One has some of the best striking in the world. You have yeah. Muay Thai with the small gloves, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you, you guys have like absolute super savages. Bon and Taiwan Chai, super leg. And Rod Tang and super leg. And <laughs> yeah. Taiwan Chai, and then you throw My- Mikey Musumeci in the mix <laughs> – and yet here I am. And I think this is the most time and the most passion I've got talking about somebody so far uh, from the fights <laughs> that I watch. It. <laughs> I love Mikey Musumeci, man. I am yeah. a fan. Yeah. Put him on every weekend. 50 G's a week, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think there's one more fight we're going to cover, right? Uh, before yeah, we we're going to skip a couple. Uh, yeah, there's there some big ones. Um, Nasuyukin got knocked out. Uh, there were some fun fights. Uh, Tetsuka got a cool armbar. Um, but we're going to talk about uh, Pajija because there's a storm. Pajija versus Hansen, right? Yeah. Dude, look, Hansen got a contract on one Friday fights. She's great. She's got a cool game where she, she's got that high guard and she'll blast you with counters. Um, uh, and yeah, just stiff, right? 
it's there. Uh, but smiling. I don't know if yeah, it's like dude. a nervous thing or whether, but I was like, um, she just got clocked right on the nose. Yeah. She's bleeding and she profusely, just... and this chick's just smiling back at Petitia, yeah. dude. Dude, Petitia is, uh, yeah, She's this got dangerous. added to the card. Yeah, this got added to the card like two days prior. I don't know if they knew the fight was going to happen and then they, they just waited to announce it or what. Maybe it was supposed to be on Friday fights, then they bumped it up. I don't know what happened, but they add this fight and it's like, okay, maybe they, maybe Superbond, when he pulled out, they were like, we need, you know, another, uh, another like upcoming star or something on here because, dude, Pajija just does not stop. It is just an onslaught. And if your game is to have that high guard and to counter off of it, you're almost never going to get an opportunity. She did in the first round where she landed a nice left hook on Pachija as she was coming in. Uh, but after that, it was all that was it. And she, she she was stuck, dude. She couldn't go anywhere because she's mixing up the body shots, the straights, the elbow, the hooks. She was a walking I mean, punching bag after that. I want to yeah, say punching not, bag, actually. You know, like the reflex bags where you hit it and it bounces back at you, but you know that you're not in danger? That yeah. was it. I also wouldn't say walking. I mean, she was stuck, dude. Pajita just walked her down. And I mean that with no disrespect, right? It's, no, if she that's stepped your style, off to the side a couple times. Yeah, but I mean, if that's your style, you're just you're not going to get time to do it, you know, against someone like Pajija. It'll work. I mean, it worked. It got her a $1,000 contract, uh, you know, but Pajija's different, dude. You, you know, yeah. she's just, she, I mean, she just walks you down, dude. And it's it's only a matter of time until she's, people are going to be talking about her like they talk about Rod Tang. You know, it's just a matter oh, of time. Dang. Dude, also like uh, a great performance from Pajija. Felt bad for Hanson. She was just busted up, man. And I mean, yeah, busted. And uh, awesome. but she was still smiling through the entire thing. She's still and then, smiling. Uh, dude. That's the game, dude. You know? At the end, you know, they're interviewing Pajija, and I'm like, is, is that right? Two hundred six and six, two hundred six yeah. victories and six losses. There's more than a handful of guys on that list in that win column. For it's a while, insane. they couldn't find girls to fight her. Not one, but like as she's coming up, she, they couldn't find one, like couldn't find girls. She's just beating the brakes off dudes. She's okay, a savage. The man. cost there, man. Yeah. The pose. The boss. Yeah. Uh, one of the best reps in the game. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.